It's not an exaggeration to say that the rise of autonomous cars will be the most ambitious data project of our lifetime. It's significant and will reshape our cities, our transportation systems. And beyond that, it'll be one of the most positive social forces technology has ever unleashed because it's going to save lives. Autonomous driving studies estimate that over 1.25 million lives could be saved as a result of fewer fatal car accidents. Over 157 hours of commute time can be saved per person every year through autonomous vehicles. And over $150 billion in fuel costs can be saved in the US economy over the course of a single year. As you can see, the impacts will be enormous. We want to push this technology even further. We want to build a platform that allows autonomous cars to become a reality, from commercial fleets to passenger cars everywhere on the road. This isn't just an experiment. It's a path to the future. It's not just the technology. It's about the safety as well. So to help us understand why I believe autonomous vehicles are closer to reality than anyone realizes. Let me introduce one of the world's great entrepreneurs and an expert in autonomous driving, the co-founder of Mobileye, Professor Amnon Shashua. Welcome to CES, I'm not a, a great entry. Thanks, Brian, it's great to be here. So, I saw no hands on the wheels, but this doesn't look like the traditional uh, autonomous car. There's no big lighter on top. There's, it just looks a little bit cleaner and smoother. Well, first, I'm proud to introduce our, one of our first vehicles out of a fleet of 100 cars that we announced last year. And indeed, as, as you said, all the sensors are very discreet, unlike what you normally see in the media. So, Last year, we had the pleasure of welcoming Mobileye to the Intel family. And we believe Mobileye has developed the most powerful technology for autonomous vehicles, including this car you arrived in. Uh, Mo Mobileye is proud to be part of Intel, and we are excited to be working together on building a world of safer cars. Yeah, so I, I think this audience would be interested a little bit in understanding how exactly the Mobileye technology can lead us to a safer future with fewer accidents and and how you really see it uh, playing out? Well, it starts with sensors. We have uh, cameras, about 12 cameras around the car. We have a cocoon of radars and, and laser scanners, uh, LADARs, all fed into high-performance computing system on chips from Mobileye and an Atom architecture by, by Intel. So when we talk about cameras, we have three cameras in front, three different fields of view, which gives you about 180 degrees in, in total. And, and very high resolution, so you can see about 250, 300 meters range. We have cameras, wing cameras and side cameras that give you half a sphere on the side, a rear camera, and then four parking cameras, altogether 12 cameras, and then radars and, and ladders for uh, redundancy. And I think we'll say bye-bye to, to Yaman. <laughs> Thank you. So the social cost of road accidents is just too great, and we believe building trust between our consumers and the vehicles is, uh, is critical. So we, we have identified four areas that we are addressing to make autonomous vehicle real. First is sensing, and that includes all the high performance uh, computing, then mapping, driving policy, which is about planning decisions and merging into traffic, and then models that provide safety uh, guarantees, which are coordinated with uh, government regulations. Okay, so, so let's start with sensing, since that's like really the root of these cars. I, I have this great visual of a car behind us. Uh, can you help us understand what role Mobileye plays in, in the sensors? Well, let's start with today. Today, Mobileye system on chip and software powers driving assist cameras on over 24 million cars. So 9 million of them installed during 2017. 
Now, we had 30 design wins with 27 car makers during 2017, and we'll be launching 15 production programs in 2018. So most likely, if you're driving a vehicle equipped, so if you're driving a vehicle, it's equipped with the Mobileye, and, and this is real reality. And our technology enables driving assist functions such as automatic emergency braking, lane keeping support, traffic sign recognition, and, and much more. And we are in many different uh, car brands on the road. This includes uh, Ford, GM, Audi, BMW, Honda, Nissan, Hyundai, and, and many more. Okay, so can we talk about how this all works? And, and so I've got the sensors now. How does it really come together? Well, there are three pieces. So in, in the car that you have just seen, you have an architecture of computing that processes the raw sensor signals and creates an environmental model with every detail around the car. So we're talking about road users, objects, and drivable paths. Then we have massively advanced driving policy uh, software and using uh, reinforcement uh, learning that makes decisions of driving maneuvers that are and including assertive ones and providing safety guarantees together. Into this mix comes also high definition maps, which creates further redundancy and foresight of drivable paths to make sure that nothing of value is missed by the, by, by the system. So I think you and I are big advocates of this technology. How fast do you think this is advancing? What's the rate of advancement here? Well, actually very rapidly. We are developing faster processing chips and superior software, and the very best architecture combining mobilized IQ system on chips and Intel's Atom architecture. To be more specific, in a few months, we are sampling our fifth generation system on chip, the IQ5, that is expected to run 24 tera operations per second at an extremely low power of 10 watts. Raw computing density is important. That's the 24 tera ops. Diversity of cores is also important in order to run different workloads, but power, power is, is crucial. Right. You know, this machine needs to fit in a car, most likely powered by a battery. So every watt counts. So that 24 teraops at 10 watts is, is an important set of parameters. It's not only important, it, it's the best on the planet. And, you know, the industry knows that we're pushing the boundaries. In addition to our level four uh, partners, BMW, Fiat, Chrysler, Aptiv, NIO, our latest addition to build together a level four fully autonomous car is Saic Motor, the largest automaker in China. So you've told us about the sensing, um, but you know, one of the real breakthroughs that you and I have talked about is in the mapping. And after all, mapping is that data that's so important. So can you tell us how you see that all coming together with the uh, mobile eye? Well, first, when we say mapping, we're not talking about the conventional navigation maps that we are all familiar with. We're talking about maps that are required for supporting autonomous driving, and they require levels of details you cannot find in navigation maps. And creating these high-definition maps is a big logistical problem. Even more difficult is to keeping these maps updated in real time. And we believe that crowdsourcing is the only, is the only solution. And this is possible because Mobileye has both the crowd, we have tens of millions of cameras on, on cars, and we have a technical solution capable of compressing the data small enough to communicate over wireless networks. We're talking about 10 kilobytes per kilometer, which is really nothing. So cars equipped with mobile cameras and chip act as data collectors, as harvesters, and build continuously update the high definition maps. And we call this data collection road experience management, or REM. Let's take a look at how it works in the following uh, clip. So what, what, what you see here on, on the left, left display, you see map data, these colored lines projected onto the image frame. And these lines are sitting exactly on real lane marks on the road. So I guess this gives you a sense of accuracy. We're talking about the accuracies at the level of centimeters. On the right display, you see the same information but projected on Google Earth, again, to give you a sense of accuracy. And accuracy comes from the accuracy of the map data itself, but also accuracy of localization. The system in real time localizes the car inside the, the map. So crowdsourcing is the most affordable way to create real time, up to date, and accurate maps. And the industry is on board. We have production programs uh, this year. 
launching from BMW, Nissan, and, and uh, Volkswagen. They'll be equipped with REM and begin crowdsourcing and updating the REM map in 2018. We have global mapping is advancing rapidly and one of the most exciting areas of autonomous uh, driving. We are announcing today two new mapping partnerships in China with uh, Psyche and also Navinfo. And with these new relationships, REM is in every, every major market. So, you know, you and I have been big advocates and believe in this technology. And the, and the critical piece will be getting the regulators and the local governments to, to really help us make this a reality as well, correct? Well, I, I agree, Brian. We, we are embarking on the most ambitious and comprehensive plan to formalize the common sense of human judgment, human judgment of driving, and create a model of safety we call uh, RSS, that together with regulatory bodies will make autonomous vehicles a reality. And this week, we'll host conversations on precisely this topic. There's a lot of interest, and I hope you join us. OK, so where do we go from here? Well, uh, I think it is time for you to take a tour in our technology and take it out on the roads. And the car that you have just seen is yours. And you'll start uh, driving with it from home to work. Thanks a lot. Thank you.